First Presbyterian Church of Liberty is now broadcasting its services over the Internet, specifically to its YouTube channel. The purpose of this video is to provide basic orientation for the camera operator to do this. It will demonstrate the use of the software and the steps to take to connect the live stream to YouTube and manage the cameras during the service. It is beyond the scope of this video to address troubleshooting in case, for example, something like a microphone or a camera does not work. It also does not address the procedure for using the video projectors in the sanctuary. When you enter the sanctuary to broadcast a service, the first thing you have to do is to log on to the video computer as the FPC video user. The computer is preset so that when you turn on the monitor it should already be running and you should see the FPC video user login screen. Double click anywhere on the screen and the password dialog box will come up. All you have to do is type in the password and hit the return key. This should bring up a screen which should look familiar if you're a Windows system user. At this point, do nothing. The computer is pre-programmed automatically to bring up all the software you will need to do the job. You just have to wait several seconds before this happens. During that time, you will see the computer load a Chrome browser tab with the YouTube Studio. You will also see it load the OBS console. OBS is an acronym for Open Broadcaster Software. At this point, it is time to leave the computer and set up the cameras and sound system. The trickiest camera to set up is the camcorder, which usually sits on a tripod on the south side of the video setup area. You need to turn this camera on. The video monitor on this camera closes to be flush with the body of the camera itself. In order to turn the camera on, open the video monitor so that it is perpendicular to the camera and press the on-off button at the top right of the side panel. Usually, the camera sits with the monitor open. When it is in that position, the required HDMI video cable is plugged into its side. If the cable is not plugged in, it should be sitting under the camera. Insert it into the HDMI port located on the side. The mechanism that zooms the picture in and out sits on top of the camera. Push this switch and zoom in to the point where the picture on the monitor shows a close-up of the pulpit. And although the camcorder has a good battery, it's also a good practice to make sure the power adapter is attached and plugged in. Also, make sure the other two cameras are plugged in to any USB port on the computer. Next, set up the sound system. Open the lavalier microphone and insert batteries. This causes it to turn on. Then, if necessary, insert batteries into the handheld microphone. Turn it on by pressing the button at its base for two to three seconds. Turn on the soundboard. The on-off switch is on the left side of the back. Make sure the sliding controllers are in the configuration shown. This configuration should never change during the broadcast except for the lavalier microphone which should be off during the passing of the piece and also as people are leaving the sanctuary at the end of the service, but not during the postlude. 
Otherwise, all sound controls should remain static. Now, speak in to each microphone and make sure it is getting sound through to the church's public address system. Back at the computer, make sure the three cameras are working. To do this, click on the bottom left-hand side of the console where each camera is labeled. The Logitech camera shows a scene down the center aisle. The webcam shows an overview of the sanctuary from the back, and the camcorder shows a close-up of the pulpit. If one or more of the cameras is not working, about the only thing you can do that is within the scope of this video is to reboot the computer and start over. If that doesn't work, just use the remaining cameras for the service. Next, go over to the right hand lower side of the OBS console and click on Start Streaming. A green square will appear on the very lower right of the scene to indicate streaming has started. Then, minimize OBS and verify the stream has started on YouTube. Then go back to OBS, go to the controls on the lower right side of the console, and click Start Recording. Note. This is only a precaution, so there will be a backup recording in case for some reason the streaming fails during the service. For example, in case the internet goes down. During the service, use your judgment to select the best camera angle. When the minister is speaking from the pulpit, use the camcorder close-up. You may want to use the Logitech view during the time with the children. Most times, however, you will use the webcam. All microphones should remain at full volume during the postlude. When the service is over, as the congregation leaves, leave the handheld microphone at full volume and turn off the lavalier microphone. Then, Go to the controls at the bottom right of the OBS console and click on both Stop Streaming and Stop Recording. After that, go back to YouTube and click on End Stream in the upper right hand corner. A dialog box will pop up asking you to confirm. Press Yes. YouTube will then ask if you want to edit the video in YouTube Studio, and you can click on Dismiss. Finally, click on the Windows Start button on the lower left-hand corner of the screen. On the top of the menu that pops up, click on FPC Video. Then, on the next menu, click on Sign Out. That completes the procedure. You should begin the broadcast about five to ten minutes before the service begins. And for your first few times doing this, it would be a good practice to get to the sanctuary at least an hour in advance of the service.